We've got breaking news here out of the NFL and CBS Sports HQ where the Minnesota Vikings cleaning house. They fired both coach Mike Zimmer and GM Rick Spielman. That's been confirmed by our NFL insider Jason Lock and Four. Zimmer's been in charge of Minnesota for eight seasons going 72, 56 and one with three playoff appearances together trying to put a team to get to the Super Bowl. But the Vikings slipped to eight and nine this season and missed the playoffs for a second straight year. Taking a look at the records under Mike Zimmer, who took over for Leslie Frazier after 2013. Again, playoff appearances, but that elusive Super Bowl appearance out of hand for this group in terms of head coach and GM. It's a shakeup as a whole for the NFC North with news that Chicago has fired Matt Nagy or Jonathan Jones confirming that as well. All right, we'll get to that in a second, but J.J. joining us here with the breaking news on CBS Sports HQ. Let's start with Minnesota first and foremost, and, and Mike Zimmer, the news that he is out. Uh, what are your thoughts? What more can you tell us here? Yeah, this was a widely, widely expected move. Mike Zimmer isn't really the one who's going to get all sentimental, but obviously he understood the reality of the situation yesterday and didn't want to talk about his, <clears throat> you know, his legacy, his tenure there, his future, but this was always to be expected in Minnesota with Mike Zimmer. And I can tell you this, uh, it sort of made the rounds last week where uh, he was asked about Kellen Mond uh, and whether he, he might uh, have considered inserting him. And he said, you know, I, I see him around the facility every day. Uh, folks in that building didn't really like that. And uh, he was talking about a rookie who came in, who busted his butt, who worked really hard. Um, and it was really the signal to a number of folks there that, yeah, th this, this is over. And the decision had ultimately been made. The Wilfs had been very quiet. They wanted to be respectful uh, and, and handle the process respectfully. Um, and I think that they accomplished that by having very few leaks coming out of their building over the last couple of weeks uh, as it pertained to the job statuses of Mike Zimmer and Rick Spielman. But uh, this was a fait accompli. Two months ago, I heard that uh, Mike Zimmer's coaching style had, uh, in the words of one person, become bland there in Minnesota. And so without any sort of playoffs, without even a playoff victory uh, this season, it was very unlikely he was going to be retained. It became very obvious the last couple of weeks. And now, of course, the axe falls on Mike Zimmer in Minnesota. All right, JJ, how attractive is this job, both in the front office and on the sidelines? They have pieces. Uh, you know, I don't think there's any question about that. You're, you're going to be married to Kirk Cousins for at least a year because of that contract. I can't imagine anyone trading for that contract and you know Kirk for uh, his reputation is, is a pretty good quarterback uh, a lot of teams this past season would have uh, loved to have Kirk Cousins over the quarterback play that they got from whichever uh, quarterback or quarterbacks they played you obviously have Dalvin Cook a guy uh, who is a top 10 running back in the NFL top five when he's healthy in my opinion you have Justin Jefferson who along with Jamar Chase is one of the best young wide receivers in the NFL today uh, they have built up along the offensive line as well through the draft through free agency so the offense looks good the defense has taken a step back uh, over the past couple of years and that was Mike Zimmer's sort of calling card uh, they looked a little weak in the secondary over the past two years up front they needed another edge rusher of course uh, their plans had sort of fallen apart there at edge rusher so those are areas that they're going to have to take a look at this offseason but Listen, as long as Aaron Rodgers is in Green Bay, that division is going to be a difficult one to win. But Minnesota has competed, has competed well. Mike Zimmer has competed well against Green Bay, uh, nearly a 500 record against Green Bay and his tenure there in Minnesota. That's a very difficult thing to accomplish against a Packers team that uh, just won 13, 13 and 14. So, uh, excuse me, in 13. So um, I, I think it is... Uh, of the jobs that are going to come open, and you have to look at this relative to that, right? Uh, if you want a job right now, how attractive is this job to the others? I think it's one of the most attractive jobs that is or will become open this cycle. Might to some people, the Mike Zimmer news, not all that surprising, but some might find it surprising about Rick Spielman. How surprised were you about that, him being added to the list as well? Yeah, a little surprised. I was just texting with someone not even a half hour ago outside of that building who... Uh, had heard that Rick Spielman might be elevated to some sort of, you know, football czar role, um, but they'd actually bring in a, a new general manager, get a fresh set of eyes there. You know, a lot of uh, talk going around the league uh, last night and this morning, and that was 
uh, one theory that was floating out there. Again, um, you know, Rick Spielman is a very well-respected man within that building, within that community. Uh, you know, the Minnesota Vikings do have talent. Uh, we just went over that. Uh, he has acquired talent through the draft, through free agency. And so, uh, you know, nothing is really going to surprise me on a Black Monday in the NFL. Um, but am I slightly surprised? Did I think that uh, if he were going to stay or go, that he, would he ultimately stay? I thought that he ultimately had done enough to keep his job. This isn't completely out of left field, but uh, enough of a surprise on a day where you shouldn't be surprised by much. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.